Welcome to another video walk around. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2014 Hyundai Elantra GT in this gorgeous charcoal color. This front wheel drive four door five passenger hatchback comes equipped with a 2.0 liter four cylinder engine mounted to an automatic transmission. As an added bonus, this Hyundai has no accidents reported. Starting up front with some of the notable exterior features, you've got these great looking headlights with the projector beam bulbs and just below there you've also got the fog lamps for some additional style and utility. As you come around to the side of the vehicle, you'll notice the 16-inch steel rims that the vehicle currently rides on. And those are wrapped in the Nokian tires. And as you can see, there's plenty of tread there. As we continue down the vehicle, you'll notice the very sleek side profile of this vehicle. And up top here, we've got that off-colored roof here, thanks to that nice panoramic sunroof. In the rear, you've got the roof-mounted antenna, as well as the color mesh roof spoiler with the integrated brake light. And back here you'll also find a rear windshield wiper, which is a very handy feature to have. And you've also got the Elantra badging, as well as the GT badging. This is a sporty, compact, and affordable ride, so let's go ahead and hop inside and take a look at some of the interior features. Hopping inside, this hatchback is nice and easy thanks to the remote keyless entry. Simply hit the unlock button on the key fob and you'll be inside. you also notice that this key fob does come equipped with the trunk release, which is a handy feature, so you can pop the trunk without having to hop inside. Opening up the door, you're greeted with this gorgeous multi-colored fabric interior with the black bolsters and the nice gray insert in the center. It's got a nice textured look to it as well. You also find some nice accent stitching to help give it a very premium look. Just below the driver's seat, you will find the power adjustable seat controls, including the power adjustable lumbar support. And if you take a look in the footwell there, you'll find the Rubbermaid all-weather mats, which make them nice and easy to clean regardless of how dirty or wet they get. So let's go ahead and hop inside this feature-rich interior and take a look at all the bells and whistles. The features inside this stylish ride start over here on the driver's side door panel with the controls for the power windows, locks, and mirrors. You also notice that the driver's side window is automatic down. Just underneath there you do have a little bit of extra storage in the door panel as well as an extra cup holder and of course you've got the speaker integrated just above it. If you take a look just to the right here you'll find the dimmer switch for the gauge cluster as well as the active eco mode. So you can turn that on to ensure that you're getting the best possible fuel economy. If we take a look up top here just behind the steering wheel and if we take a look at the turn signal stock here you'll notice that this vehicle does come equipped with the automatic headlights which is a very nice set it and forget it feature and of course you've also got the switch for the fog lights that I showed you on the exterior. If we back up and take a look at this great looking four spoke steering wheel here you'll find a couple of nice bolsters up top and of course this is a leather wrapped steering wheel. On the left hand side here you do have the audio controls including the volume and track selector buttons. You've also got the audio mode button as well as the mute button and just below here you've also got the voice recognition button as well as the two Bluetooth hands-free calling buttons. On the right hand side of the steering wheel you'll find the cruise control buttons as well as the steering mode so if you hit that button you'll be able to adjust the steering mode from sport, comfort and normal. You've also got the trip buttons here so you can track your kilometers. If you take a look up at that screen there, you'll notice that this vehicle currently has 113,864 kilometers on it. As an added little bonus, you do get the exterior temperature at the bottom there as well. If you take a look over in the center of the dash here, you'll find the media unit. In terms of audio options here, you do have your standard AM, FM radio, and you've also got a CD input. And this vehicle also comes equipped with XM radio, as well as an auxiliary and USB input, and you've also got Bluetooth, so you can be sure that you can listen to your own audio regardless of the type of device that you have. Just below, you've got the passenger airbag warning, as well as the hazard lights, and you've also got the traction control buttons. So you can toggle that on and off. And as we continue, you'll also find the climate controls. This is a single zone climate control vehicle, though it does come with air conditioning for those hot summer Okanagan days. And for those cold winter days, you've got the two stage heated seats for both front passengers. Just below there you do have a couple of 12 volt outlets to help keep things charged up and you've also got the auxiliary and USB input that I mentioned earlier. As we continue down you've got a couple of storage trays here which is a handy feature you can drop your phone in there or something like that. And as we continue down you've got this nice leather wrap boot to the shifter here and of course you can put that into a manual mode if you wanted to shift between the gears manually. As we continue down you've also got a couple of cup holders here with that nice silver trim around it. And finally, you've got this nice center console here, and you can open that up to reveal a nice carpeted bottom to your little center console there. In the passenger side footwell, you've got those same great all-weather mats, and if we open up the glove box here, you'll find a nice spacious glove box. And if we take a look over at the passenger side door panel there, you'll find the same great design as we found on the driver's side, as well as, of course, the controls for the power locks and the passenger side window. 
Finally, if we take a look up top here, you've got a little sunglasses holder as well as, of course, the controls for the interior lights. And finally, you've got the controls for your gorgeous panoramic roof. This is a really, really nice feature to have on a hatchback. Let's tons and tons of light in it. And of course, in the summer, you can open that up and let lots of air flow in through as well. So let's go ahead and hop out and take a look at some of the features in the rear of this vehicle. In the rear of this vehicle, you've got more of that same great fabric seating with the very nice design. You also find plenty of legroom for your rear passengers, which is surprising in a hatchback of this size, but you do have lots of legroom, even if the front seats are pushed all the way back. Back here, you've also got a couple of handy little storage nets in the back of the driver and the passenger side seat for some additional interior storage. And you've also got this handy little fold-out armrest for your rear passengers. It's a nice padded fabric armrest, and you've got a couple of extra cup holders there as well. Of course, these seats also do fold down on a 60-40 split if you have some additional cargo to store. Simply grab the latch up top here, and you'll be able to fold that seat down with ease. And if you do so, you've got lots and lots of interior storage space. So we'll go ahead and take a look back there. But before we do, we'll take a quick glance at the rear door panels and you'll find the same great design as we found on the front, as well as, of course, the switch for the rear windows. And underneath there, you do have a little bit of extra storage as well as an extra cup holder. Opening up the hatch, you'll be pleasantly surprised with the amount of cargo space back here. You've got a nice carpeted cargo bay. And like I mentioned, those seats do fold down in that 60-40 split. Back here, you'll also find a handy little cargo cover so you can keep all of your cargo covered up. And you've also got a nice 12-volt outlet back here. Underneath, you will find a couple of extra little storage compartments. And under the foam here, you've also got the spare tire, in case you ever get a flat, as well as, of course, the tools to change it. Finally, on the sides here, you do have some extra little storage pockets for some smaller items. That concludes this short video walk around, but this vehicle is loaded with features and there's lots that I didn't get a chance to show you. So make sure you stop by Kelowna Toyota located at 1200 Leadhead Road or visit us online at kelownatoyota.com for more information. We look forward to seeing you soon.